All right, guys, we need to talk. I got something on my mind that's been bugging me for a couple weeks now, and I think it's time to talk about it. Is magnet fishing real, or is magnet fishing fake? I'm sure as most of you guys know by now, I've been magnet fishing for I think close to five years now. It first started out with me just being curious of what I could find in the water and now it's turned into this big thing. We're coming up pretty close on almost a million subscribers, which is just absolutely mind blowing to me. But recently I've been seeing a lot of magnet fishing videos on YouTube that are making me question what direction this whole thing is headed. Now, when I film my magnet fishing videos, some Sometimes I travel hours away and sometimes I can spend all day on the water. We're talking maybe 10 hours and then I still have to come home and edit what is usually a six hour video. So to get a full video can take hours and hours of actual work. I absolutely love magnet fishing you guys and I am never going to change what I do. But if you've been watching magnet fishing for any longer than like a year or two, things are starting to change. Now it seems like a lot more more recently, there's been some new channels. We're not going to name any names here, but obviously everything is completely fake. Now, I'm not trying to bash anybody at all, but the problem with these fake videos, in my opinion, is first of all, I think if nobody has ever seen or heard of magnet fishing, and that's one of the first videos they ever see, they might never watch magnet fishing ever again, which right off the bat pushes them away from channels like mine, where we're actually out here really finding real history and really cleaning up the rivers and lakes. Another problem is that it seems like a lot of these fake videos get a lot of views. But seeing stuff like that is a little bit discouraging to channels like myself who are actually out here putting in the miles and the hours and the physical labor to clean the rivers and lakes. So when you look at it from that perspective, it seems like you guys want to see more of those videos where people are finding UFOs and pulling aliens out of the river and finding Shrek. I say all of this to say that I am never going to change what I'm doing on my channel. I absolutely love magnet fishing. Even if I stopped getting paid from YouTube, I would still be magnet fishing. Because for me, this has never been about the money. It's never been about the views. That stuff all just kind of came with it. Now, I know not everybody thinks this way. I know a lot of you guys love to see the real history. You love to see the real stuff coming out of the water. And that's probably why most of you guys are are here on my channel. I'm never gonna stop. The only thing that's gonna stop me is if this sucker stops beating. What do you guys think? I think magnet fishing might be becoming a lot bigger of a kid's type of thing. So I think that might be a lot more what that is, which is cool too. I love to see how big magnet fishing is becoming. Just a couple years ago, it was like unheard of. But it does kind of suck when I'm out here traveling hours and miles and spending money putting in the hard physical labor to clean rivers. And then I look over here and somebody's pulling Shrek in a skibbity doodah toilet out of the river and they're getting more views than I am. That's kind of crazy, really. I gotta clean this boat, you guys. Check this thing out. Look at <whistles> This thing is dirty. I'm gonna keep doing my thing. That's just my two cents on the subject, you guys. That's what I've been thinking lately. That's what's been on my mind. Should I start planting stuff? Absolutely not. Not me, bucko. I'm gonna go ahead and get the heck out of here. Make sure to stay tuned, and I will catch you on the next one.